Today's journey is taking us 25 minutes out of the heart of the CBD into the beautiful Swan Valley. Now this has got to be one of WA's best kept secrets, home to some incredible food and wine experiences. But today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'll we'll take you back 50,000 years and we're going to try some bush tucker. Dale Tilbrook runs Marlin Up Art Gallery and it's art that most people come here for. When you started out, what was your objective? Well, it certainly wasn't to have a huge gift shop and art gallery <laughs> and specialising in bush foods and cultural presentations. Mm -hmm. We were just trying to sell some of the boomerangs that we made wow. here in the Swan Valley. And it's evolved into really very much sharing your culture, hasn't it now? I mean, it's not just the art, it's, it's very holistic. It is, and we're very proud of that. Education is a huge part of what we do. We do have specific programs that we run here, mm -hmm. but we do go out to schools and to corporates and we've just started a program with Whiteman Park for kids. Dale's knowledge of this work is incredible and looking through the different styles of paintings, she shares her knowledge of that style and the expression, as well as the story behind the artist. One artist exhibiting her works here currently is Naomi Grant, an award-winning contemporary Indigenous artist. What's your inspiration? Is it something, is it a mindset when you, when you decide you're going to paint a particular landscape? It might be just something I see, something that grabs me, something that I feel quite passionate about. A lot of them are quite local scenes. Bayswater down at the Bird Sanctuary, the river area. I try to put out a book each year that sort of catalogues some, you know, the work that I've done in that year. When you've had your fill of art, you might want to share some traditional bush tucker. This is one of the few places you can come and experience the flavours of the bush. So Dale, we've got a bit of a collection of different bush tucker plants, I take it. What have we got yes, here? Yes, we, we do. So all Australian native plants. We yeah. have some lemon myrtle, some quandong, sandalwood nuts. So what do you make with lemon myrtle? Well, in this case, yeah. we have made a delicious, giant lemon myrtle melting moment. And I've been kind to you, so I've put a little bit there for you Can to I try. Can I try this? Yes. Awesome. I won't make okay. you eat the whole one. Okay, let me try this. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely lemony smells. Oh, it tastes through that. That's beautiful. People can come and get it here, right? They can. They can buy the herbs and spices here. They can buy the sauces and jams and chutneys here. And if they're lucky, I might even have all of this here for them as well to no, taste. No, there's going to be nothing left, I'm afraid. No, I've got to eat it all. No, nothing left. If you want an authentic taste of WA, check out Marlin Up Bush Tucker and Art for yourself. More information is available from our website, but it's so close to the city, right in the heart of the Swan Valley.